Scorpio. Hey, Scorpio. It is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do your love reading for the second half of January. This will be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, also Venus. This is general. It will not resonate with all of you Scorpios out there. Do check your moon or rising sign for additional messages. Your moon rising or Venus sign. All right, Scorpio, let's hop into your reading and let's see what's coming in for you guys. Of course, let it be great. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Do hit that notification bell, Scorpio. All righty, so yes, let's hop straight in. Let's see what's going on with you guys. If you guys would love to book a personal reading with me, fireintuition.com. All right, Scorpio. So let's see what's coming in for you guys. Let's see. Love messages for Scorpio. Second half of January. What's coming in for Scorpio? All right. So when it comes to the heart of the matter, we have the higher fonts, Taurus energy. The current energy around this relationship or situation, we have the strength card. The person you're dealing with and where their mind is at, seven of pentacles. Their current feelings towards you, knight of cups reverse. What they want from you, three of swords. What is yet to unfold, five of swords reverse. Potential outcome, the four of wands. Scorpio, are you guys being tested? At the bottom of the deck, we have the moon. Cancer, Pisces, energy. Alrighty. The reason why I said that is because someone wants you to hold on to them. Someone is like, okay. Let's hop into the cards. Yeah, let's definitely hop in. Let's definitely clarify. All right. The higher font is the first card out. So like I said, that's the higher font is our teacher. Okay. But let's see what's going on with you, Scorpio. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what is going on. Sorry. Let me move my phone. Am I about the way, Scorpio? Okay. All right, let's see. Messages for Scorpio. Scorpio, so either someone is obsessed with you or you're obsessed with them or they just don't want you to let them go. Okay. Because you have this Knight of Cups coming up in reverse and this is in their feelings towards you. So you guys got someone that is um, kind of obsessed. It's unrequited love though. It's not going to go anywhere, I don't feel. All right, I feel like you guys know that too, All right, for some of you guys. So let's see, we have a moon coming up. This is the overall energy, Scorpio. So it could be a Cancer or a Pisces that you guys are dealing with. But the moon is something that you don't see coming, things that are hidden. This can be deception. This can be lies. This can be some type of illusion with the moon here. So let's see why the moon is the overall energy for your reading, Scorpio. For the second half of January. Why is the moon here for Scorpio? Second half of January. The two of cups. This is a soulmate. This is a connection. A relationship. Why are the two of cups here? You could be dreaming about this person. Been dreaming about them lately. Why is the two of cups here? Three of pentacles in reverse. This could be someone that had you in a third party situation. You could have worked with this person. The three of pentacles in reverse with this two of cups is they also could have moved on and got with someone else and realized that the grass isn't greener on the other side and they're trying to come back towards you. Okay, or they keep coming towards you like they're in and out of your life. So let's hop in, Scorpio. Let's see what we got, all right? So we have this... Um, the higher font is here, okay? This is the first card out. So the higher font towards energy. And this is the heart of the matter. So I just want to kind of go into the higher font before I say what I want to say because I'm just looking at the energy and I feel like this is going to be a test of your strength with the strength card here. I feel like this is someone that either like you're obsessed, they're obsessed, it's great sex, but it's like you know there's no relationship, you want commitment. 
Because what they want from you is a thing of sorts. I feel like this is someone that wants you to stay or be stuck on them. Seriously. So let's see. Why is a higher font here? Going to the higher font for Scorpio. Why is this the heart of the matter? Why is a higher font the heart of the matter? Five of Cups in reverse. So this person could be coming back, trying to reconcile with you after moving on from a relationship. Remember I told you they felt like the grass wasn't greener on the other side. Okay. Why is the Five of Cups coming up in reverse? This can also be you moving on from them. And this Two of Cups is trying to come in. And that's what you don't see coming. But the past has came back around. See? As soon as I said it, the Six of Cups came out. This is someone from the past that wants to reunite with you. That wants to see you. That thinks about you. They made a mistake or they, they feel like they messed up. Yeah, see? Temperance is coming out in reverse. Okay? So there was some type of separation. This person has been in their feelings. Are you been in your feelings about this? With tempers coming up in reverse. Maybe the last time you guys talked, you guys got into an argument. You kind of clashed a little bit. Alrighty. So we have the strength card here. This is the current energy of the relationship. I fight this is either going to be a test of your strength or like this person is like really attracted to you or you're really attracted to them. There's a strong attraction here. Okay. Going to the strength card. Could be a Leo. Why is the strength card here? Ten of Swords. Yes, this is going to be a test of your strength. This is someone that hurt you really bad, betrayed you, backstabbed you. There was a lot of hurt and a lot of pain. I feel like you guys were stuck in this energy for a while. You fear kind of letting go of this person. Are you just fear it letting go? Um, why is the Ten of Swords here? Yeah, Three of Swords reverse. And you're trying to release this person now. I feel like you guys are trying to release this person or you're finding it in you to forgive this person. Again, for some of you guys, this was a third-party situation they had you in. Now, where their mind is at, we have the Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles is about thinking, contemplating. It is about the past. It's putting time, energy, and effort into something. Planting a seed. Okay, so let's see why the Seven of Pentacles is where their mind is at. The Four of Swords. So, I feel like you guys started something, and then this person could either ghost at you, are um they kind of like put the relationship to the side okay and i feel like for some of you guys they did go shoot or they went back to someone or um yeah let's see why the four of swords is here going to the four of swords nine of wands reverse yeah they kind of just gave up Yeah, the Nine of Wands reverse. This is someone like withdrawing, giving up. No fight left in them. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing. For others of you, they could have been fighting in a long-term relationship that they were in. And they just kind of put the relationship to the side with you and kind of, you know, cut you off. Because they couldn't deal with the pressure from both sides. Like from you, from the other person is what I'm getting. We have the Knight of Cups coming up in reverse. And this is in their current feelings towards you. So like I said, this is the person from the past trying to come back in with that Knight of Cups reverse. Also, if like this can be someone kind of like obsessed, you know, or someone that was like moody within their feelings. I feel like this person also could feel like you're kind of moody. Like, they don't know how you feel towards them. But, um, let's see. The Knight of Cups in reverse with the Star in reverse. So, they feel like you just pretty much have just given up on this. Like, you don't want this anymore. Maybe you, like, maybe you told them, like, oh, yeah, we'll never be together. This will never come back together. You know, like, I no longer want you. I don't want to be with you. I want nothing to do with you. Because we have the Star in reverse. And not to think really negative. That's you needing to heal from certain things they did. This is you hurt over how they did you, what they did to you. Because the Knight of Cups in reverse can also be a manipulator too. Why is the Star in reverse? Yeah, the Sun card. Leo, Aquarius energy. What is this Knight of Cups in reverse? Page of Pentacles. 
two of wands. Someone's made some type of decision. The tower reverse. This person was resisting change or they feared coming out of another relationship to be with you. And now they are coming in with an offer after having you wait. Why is the tower coming up in reverse? Yeah, Eight of Cups reverse. They're trying to come back around. Two of Swords reverse. Someone's made a decision. Finally, Eight of Cups reverse. Two of Swords reverse. So this is someone that had you waiting. This is someone from your past. Someone that you really wanted to be with. I feel like this person is obsessed with you. Because we have a strength card there. You cut off sex. You cut off everything with this person. Are you kind of like friend zone them? It was like, you know, we can be friends. That's it. But I even feel like you didn't even want to be their friend anymore because it was, you know, too painful. That's why I feel like this nine of wands in reverse. I kind of feel like that's your energy now because I feel like you guys gave up. You guys got tired of fighting for this. So let's see how the nine of wands in reverse because this is where their mind is at because they're thinking about something. And I feel like with that four of swords there, they haven't been saying anything. This person has been ghost. You guys haven't been talking, communicating or anything. But I feel like communication is going to come in. Why is the nine of wands reverse? Yeah, this is you, the moon. And we have, yeah, the two of wands reverse because they weren't making a decision. You guys got tired of being, you know, feeling stuck, been waiting, not know what was going, not knowing what was going on. You didn't know where you stood in this situation. Then for others of you, like this person could have like kept standing you up, canceling, you know, plans and stuff like that. Somebody put two and two together and found out someone was talking to someone or was with someone or something like that. Okay, so um, let's see how the Three of Swords is here. One to the Three of Swords. And this is what they are wanting from you. So maybe they want you to forgive them. We have the Three of Swords here, though. So let's see. Why is the Three of Swords here for what they want from you? The Nine of Cups. Yeah, they want you to forgive them. Because the Nine of Cups on the Three of Swords. Why the Nine of Cups here? Yeah, the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, they want you to forgive them now. Or they want your forgiveness. You guys could be dealing with a Virgo too. The Nine of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. This is an offer coming in. It's been, it took them forever to come in. Some of you guys have been waiting like almost a year for this person to come toward you, to communicate with you, to talk to you, to make some type of offer. Alrighty. All right, this is something that happened September, August, September of last year. And now they're finally coming back around. Let's see how the Five of Swords is in reverse. This is what is yet to unfold. This is about the past, letting the past go. So let's see why the Five of Swords is coming up in reverse. The Knight of Swords. This is that person from the past rushing in. This is you, Scorpio. You're in reverse, though. Maybe you're still in your feelings about this person with the Queen of Cups in reverse. This can also be... Um, well, yeah, because what is yet to unfold. So this person is coming with an offer. But then I feel like this... Wait, going to the Queen of Cups in reverse. Someone's going to be upset or mad or someone's like... In their feelings still about something that happened. Why is the Queen of Cups in reverse? The Seven of Swords. You don't trust this person. They're coming toward you. They're trying to tell you something. You don't trust this person. Why is the Seven of Swords here? You feel like they're lying. You feel like they're up to no good. You feel like they're being deceptive. The Knight of Wands. You feel, yeah, some of you guys feel like they're just, they just want to have sex with you. Or like a good time. Because for some of you guys, this person is trying to come see you. They're traveling towards you. They're going to call or message you and tell you that they're in your town or your city or that they want to come see you. Why is this not a wand here? Yeah, see, we have the empress. So someone could have been committed. Someone could have been married. This could maybe have a child with this person. But you don't trust what they're saying to you. 
But what this is telling me also is like for some of you guys, someone was committed or with someone. And they're, they're either sneaking out or they're running away from that situation. And they're rushing in trying to come towards you. Why is the Empress here? Yeah, I see the Three of Pentacles reverse and the Six of Pentacles. They are giving up on this relationship so that they can give in to you. So that they can work things out with you. This would be some ending. Um, are their relationship like things aren't working out in that relationship? Go into the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Why is the Three of Pentacles in reverse? Yeah, the Five of Wands. They're arguing. They're not getting along with their person right now. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Ace of Cups. You're the person that they want to offer love to. So like this is them coming in finally ready to give to you this is that ace of cups that new emotional beginning but you don't trust this person let's see why the four of wands is here this is the potential outcome go to the four of wands why is the four of wands here for scorpio potential outcome eight of wands so that's communication coming in that can be someone from a distance this can be through email text let's see why is the eight of wands here the page of swords communication is coming in someone has been watching you guys too with the page of swords eight of wands they've been watching you online or watching you trying to figure things out they're trying to to see if you're in a relationship with that four of wands or if you haven't moved on why is the page of swords here Four of Wands in reverse. They're coming out of a relationship and wanting to offer you a relationship for some of you guys with the Four of Wands in reverse. Or that's what they're coming to tell you or that's what you guys are going to talk about. Like, they're coming out of some type of relationship. They're moving out. For some of you guys, they may talk about moving in with you guys or maybe you guys did live together. They moved out. They're coming back home or you guys are talking about moving back in together. We have a Queen of Swords here. They're, someone's going through a separation, a divorce, the ending, a separation. Queen of Swords, the Tower, and the Four of Wands reverse. That's what you're about to find out. But I see you guys standing your ground. Yeah. So, Scorpio. Y'all have a lot going on second half of January. And this person, I feel like, is obsessed with you or something like that. Or, like, it's, I don't know, it's, like, great sex. They're obsessed, but they feel like they want a relationship with you, though. Why is this Knight of Cups reverse again? Nine of Wands reverse, Eight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, this is that same person, same energy. The person that you gave up on. Because they weren't offering, they didn't want any commitment or, um, yeah, they couldn't seem to make a decision in the past. All right, Scorpio, so let's pull some romance angels. Let's see what's going on. We have children. Soulmate. And we have release your ex. See, I told you someone's letting someone go. Or that's you letting this person go. We have children. We have soulmate. We have release your ex. I feel like someone no longer wants to hold on for the children anymore. Like saying like they were only together for the children. Okay, is what I'm getting. And they're finally ready to release their ex. They feel and realize that you are their soulmate. and the person that they want to be with. Is what I'm getting. Children, like I said, could have been the reason why they stayed with someone I went back to someone. The overall energy is free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. So either you're doing this, Scorpio, been doing this, or that's what this person is doing. They're freeing themselves from a situation. They're taking back control of their life and the things that they want to do. And that's why they're coming towards you with some type of offer now. Okay? So let's definitely go ahead and clarify. Let's see what we got. Your love life is being affected by children. This also could have been this person that's acting very childish and immature in the relationship. This could have been inner child wounding that they needed to heal. They could have like issues from when they were children, you know, um, their environment. So maybe they didn't grow up in a, an environment where they have both their parents. So it's like maybe it was kind of hard for them to show and express love or 
to offer a relationship to you or give you the kind of relationship you were wanting or looking for. So the children card we have, when times got tough, I gave up on you too soon. Yeah. So for some of you guys at this person, like I said, they handled things. They were like kind of immature, childish. So when times got tough, I gave up on you. So this person was acting childish, immature. They couldn't handle what was going on in the relationship. Also, children could have been involved and in, maybe they just weren't ready to like parent, be a parent. Um, that's what I'm also getting. And then we have soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. And we have, I'm sorry for judging you and hurting your feelings. So yeah, this person I feel like judged you and hurt you really bad. Maybe you were aware of the connection, you know, until this person like, oh, you're my soulmate. Like there's a connection and they would probably judged you about it. Like, no, we're not going to be together or whatever, you know, they said, whatever they did, they said something to you. They hurt you really bad. Um, and this is some type of soulmate connection that you guys do have. We have release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. And we have, I knew you were right, but couldn't admit it to myself or you. So I feel like this person was already in a situation that was bad for them. Or they just weren't happy in the situation. They could have been settling due to children or they feel obligated to that relationship. And I feel like this is something that you told them. But instead they judged you and hurt your feelings. And now this person is finally releasing that person. Or you're finally releasing this person and you're moving forward. Okay. So let's go ahead and pull up some spirit messages. And then that will be your reading, Scorpio. I will be extending your reading. All right. So let's see messages for Scorpio. Spirit, what message do you have for Scorpio? Second half of January. We have action number nine, movement needed. So... Nine is all about completion, right? So I feel like something has completed itself. Something has wrapped up. Something's coming to a completion. And someone is about to take action. Because it says movement needed. So now that something is ending, action could be taken. So there's going to be some type of action or like forward movement. Someone's taking action or there's going to finally be some type of forward movement in a situation. All right, let's see. Let's pull one more message for Scorpio. Second half of January. And we have change. Yep. The change that you are, no, the change that you are going through, no, the changes that you are going through are positive. So you guys are going through some type of change or someone's going through some type of change. Whatever you're going through, it's, it's for the positive. Okay. So you guys can take action. Movement is needed and some type of change is coming in for you. So that looks really good, Scorpio. Alrighty. So I will be extending this reading on the other side, I will look to see what they are hiding from you, what you are needing to know, what does your person want to tell you, their true intentions, future communication between you guys, what can stop or block this relationship from moving forward, and how should you proceed far as moving forward. All right, Scorpio, I love you all. That is your reading. All right, I will talk to you guys again soon. Bye, loves.